I have to say shout out to my friend Nina who emailed me today. I'm going to quote her. Hope you're watching this train wreck of a show and making more videos about it. Nina, we've heard you and we are. Thanks, fan. <laughs> Thanks, yes, to our only fan. <laughs> to our one fan. To our one fan. Here's this is for you. We've had uh, several hits on YouTube. <laughs> I don't know if they're fans. <laughs> There's a guy that called me a lesbian with the tight bun. Well, he's an asshole. And you shouldn't wear tight buns in your hair. <laughs> you were kind of asking for it. I know I was. He let some skanky ones go, so... He let the real skank, like the... Uh, yeah. One. So, which... Takes DJ a, Lady Tribe. Takes Oh, DJ Lady which Tribe. Which I'm still upset about. Yeah, it takes away the entertainment factor for us, but makes me think he's more serious this season. Oh, yeah, much more serious. <laughs> he's like, I'm only going to do girls that can... I was going to say they can lay there, but she could. <laughs> Oh, he's a co-executive producer now. Way to go, Brett. Yeah, go Brett. You know, I'm just being me. I'm not gonna go, you know, get half naked. I'm here and if you want She's to getting kicked off this week. I can't tell if these girls are acting or for, or they really say this stuff out of their own head. Because I'm starting to think this show is scripted. <laughs> no, it isn't. Oh, I'm sorry. I take it. I take it back. It's completely improvised <laughs> and not directed at all. Yes, it is. They're all. All these women are heavily involved with uh, UCB. In LA. <laughs> Indeed, it's a requirement before you go on the show. Right. Take a level one improv class. Our bus rolls up to this garden chapel where we're gonna marry Brad today. You're not really gonna marry him, you know. It's not really. <laughs> In this beautiful chapel, there are wedding accessories. Accessories? <laughs> I want you to put these on in the way you want to look and present yourself to me. I'll be honest, weddings make me very, very nervous, and I sweat. <laughs> so today I put together the Brett Michaels wedding tux. It's formal, yet airy. So I look down and she has five pages of wedding vows. I'm thinking this woman is either madly in love with me or clinically insane. With love in my I would choose B. <laughs> Why is she wearing the hat that that guy from the uh, pickup artist wears? <laughs> she got Mystery's hat! <laughs> this wedding thing earlier. Hey, if nobody got these better. What was that? <laughs> Did she just give him a blowjob? <laughs> That is Taj Mahal. See Johnny Carson now. <laughs> you know what though? That's the thing is that he has a sense of humor of like a grandpa. Yeah. Well, he is 60, isn't he? <laughs> She's frightening. I decide to give Brett a plastered torso that I had made of myself. Oh! <laughs> I made it. I made this. It's me. <laughs> this two dollar bill that's been in, like it's been in my family for many many years. So I would like to present this to you. I don't know which is worse. The two dollar bill is her family's heirloom. And that she was actually giving. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't. I was thinking the exact same yeah. thing, Brett. You and I. I got you some fun stuffed animals. I mean seriously, stuffed animals. You do know I'm a rock star, right? I was in poison. <laughs> I'm still in poison. <laughs> so when we really become friends, um, you can find out where this belongs and maybe you can put it back. So now I'm watching Britannia give Brett her vaginal piercing. Her vaginal piercing? This is disgusting. I'm a penthouse pet. <laughs> we don't do that at penthouse. No. <laughs> Did you hear what she just said? What? Of course I am a centerfold. <laughs> She's gonna bring that up every chance she gets. We Okay, Jesus. <laughs> and we see all these crazy rooms, and they have all these different themes. There's an alien room that looks like a spaceship. There's a freaking room with like pink Cadillac in the middle of it. That would be a fun hotel to go to. Yeah, it would. For your honeymoon, you should go there. Yeah, we're gonna go. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Honey. You going out? I thought it was important that I have a kick ass reception. And she just ate that like she's never had food. Before. <laughs> I know. <laughs> What's this? 
Bernie's lap dance is seriously aggressive. I thought it was gonna snap his off. And then she farted. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> Around, around my Alexis past. Does she have an Adam's apple? Yeah, she does. I really want to know. And a dick? <laughs> yeah, she does. You dare! You dare! <laughs> you think I'm racist? My grandfather was black. My grandfather's African American, and he's a beautiful black man. <laughs> You don't want to be that girl that, that everybody boos at, and I've already been picked on so bad that it really made me feel awful. Oh, and she's all alone <laughs> in that bed. In the alien, in the room. alien suite. How appropriate. My mom loves me, and my family loves me. She is mental. <laughs> yeah, not in a good way. Ah, uh, my future ex wife. I'm starving, so grab stuff. I'm starving, so grab it or else I'm gonna eat it all. You know, Italy they go mancha. One thing I really want to share is that I took a religious vow that I wouldn't have all the way sex more than three years. All the way, all the way sex. I am definitely attracted to Constantina, but to be honest, not having all the way sex with her that could possibly. <laughs> I'm gonna start referring to it as all the way, all the way sex. sex. There are different levels of sex, and all the way sex is of course the most sacred. <laughs> What's butt sex? <laughs> That's around the way sex. <laughs> I know we've had a great party here, but there's 15 of you, and for three of you, your tour ends right here. Three? three. Wow, he's cutting to the chase. He's not kidding. Three of you have caused a lot of Look at her shaking. <laughs> Brittany, come down here, please. Melissa, Marcia, please. I'm gonna give them one more stop on this here tour. I need a woman with confidence, a wild sign, and without a doubt, one who wants to be intimate with me. Who does it all the way. <laughs> no, wants to have all the way, all sex. The way sex. I want you to do a one woman show where you portray all of these women. <laughs> I'm speaking now to all of my fans. <laughs> all of your fan? I'm sorry. The ones that follow me from city to city, mm -hmm. from New York to Pittsburgh, to Pittsburgh mm -hmm. to New York, there will be <laughs> a one woman. One woman <laughs> Casey is the Rock of Love tour bus. <laughs> I cannot wait. Is that going to be a union? I just call uh, myself fat. You didn't answer my question. Is that going to be an equity production? Oh, no. This is just my show. There is no parts for anyone else. Thanks. It's just me. I can't believe you wouldn't let me have a part in your show. You can be the tour bus. <laughs> Did you just call me fat? Yes. I'll be Brett or Big John. No, I'm playing them too. <laughs> I will be a bottle of Brett Boo. <laughs> What blue? <laughs> I will be a bottle of wet blue. Big blue <laughs> bottle of wet blue. I'm going to direct the show. How about okay, that? That's good. <laughs> and write it. And also have, have a cameo as as <laughs> a bandana. There will be. There's going to be a singing. There's going to be singing um, bandanas. Singing bandanas. There's going to be a, a big a musical number. <laughs> the Dana's the cowboy hats. Damn you, boy. Damn you for daunting this in my. Well, haunting me with the blood woos. <laughs> and you don't have any to share with anybody else. You'll be keeping all the blood boo in your own toilet. That's just a sneak peek of the one woman show, right? You don't share blood. 